G'day guys, I'm Joe Train, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic, where I'll be doing a tutorial on how to build my driving system that I use for my locomotives in Scrap Mechanic. So this was suggested by Southern Freight XSL 5000 in my Discord server, as he wanted to know how to make the driving systems I use for the train, so you can drive from both sides of the, of the locomotive. And if you want to suggest um, your own Scrap Mechanic tutorials on me to make, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Alright, so here we have my Queens and Rail National 2800 class that I made some time ago. I never actually showcased this. So basically, so we can go into one side of the cab. And if we go in the, the chair here, we press 1 is to start the engines. So the motor starts running and then we can press uh, 2 is the propulsion system. And that will start the motors and then 3 is um a higher gear so you can go faster as well and then we can press 4 of course and then we can go into reverse and this also works on the other side of the, of the locomotive as well if we go down the walkway here we can reach go in the cab on the other side this chair here and we can press 1 and then of course the controls are going to be in reverse because we're facing backwards so we're going to press 4 and that's going to drive us into this direction here and we can press 3 to change to a higher gear as well all right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to build a really basic vehicle from scratch what i'm going to do is i usually start by building the bogey and build it separately from the locomotive so we can do this and i'll use some pipes this and then that's one wheel and then we'll do the same on the other side so do it like this and that's the other wheel and let's just put this on the track so it's on properly and then we can extend this and then do the same for the other side and then I'll, I'll just cut until I've got it all done preferably if you were building bogies you would want the bogies to be made of like a heavy block like um, on this one I've underneath you can't really see well, if we flip this over, I use that um, heavy to concrete. You want your center of mass to preferably be lower to the ground as possible. But I mean, since I've started building the wheels with plastic or the bogies with plastic, I might as well just continue doing that. All right, so once you have your bogey done, you can just save it on your lift and then spawn it. And then we will just connect this up like this. And let's just put this on the lift because it'll make building easier. And on the, the bogey, you want the pivot to be in the middle as well of the, the wheels as well. Alright, so now we have this done. We can get the engines, so I'm just going to get rid of all this. I like to use electric engines since electric engines, they have a lot of torque. So let's just, for purposes of demonstration, we'll just put it here. And of course we want a seat. And I'll just use the um saddle so it's like centered and we want some logic gates as well this is very important so i'll just do it like this and then we need some buttons we need bu button and switch and then we have one switch is for the high gear and then we want another switch is also for reverse as well for the high gear what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to put two more engines down yeah because you need four engines and let's just connect the engine so we have um this is forwards, th forwards, this is forwards to high gear, and this is backwards, and then this can be backwards to high um, high gear, I guess. So forwards, we'll do this, have to do this, and then we can do the same on this side, and do the same on this side, and make sure that's facing forwards, and then let's, to test it, we can just, oh yeah, that's right, it's not going to move because the haven't connected the other bogey so there we go let's do this as well and then this is going to get very messy soon because it's going to be a, it's going to turn to a big spider web which is what hap usually happens in scrap mechanic especially for building vehicles like this all right so we can test so you can go backwards by doing this one and we go forwards by turning that one as well and then we can do the same for the rest of them so these ones will do this and then that's forwards so the we'll do the outside um but bearings are going forwards and then the ones in the inside that go for going reverse. All right, and we can test this as well. So just there we go. That's going forwards. This is a an, another tip as well. If when um, working with low physics qualities, let's spawn this in because it, it does tend to get quite laggy in scram candy. Let's say we turn this 
all the way down. You see the wheels? See how they sag on the low physically? There is a way to fix this. And all you have to do is just add some more bearings on the, um, the ends of the wheels. And these would be, um, free-flowing. So they won't actually be powered. And then we can just connect them up like this. And then we can just roll it like this, roll it like this, to this, this to this, and then do this to this, this to this. And and if you, you're you good, you can also make it look more realistic as well. So I have like um some bogeys, I have like this these, these ones. Alright, so now we've got all the wheels connected up. I just realized we need, we're going to need another switch. Someone is pinging me. Don't ping me right now, I'm recording. Alright, so we're gonna need, we're actually gonna need, um, four switches for this. So we need one switch that's for the, to start the engines. We, and then we need one switch is the propulsion. And then we have high gear. And we also need switch direction of travel, which would be this one. So this would be like your reversal. Alright, so we'll, and for the reversal. So we want, um, to put this into a NOR gate. So when it's not on, you want this and this one to be on. Um, but first, let's just turn, let's connect this, the, um, starter, and to all of these, so we, that way we don't accidentally, um, start the engine, and let's actually get in the seat here as well, and we can hook this up all into the seat. Just like so. And then we need to hook this onto, um, the green ones. And then we can hook the switch into the red ones. So when the green ones are active, let's activate the switch. So when this is activated, it will activate these ones to go forwards. But then if we press this, it will activate the red ones to go backwards. And then we can unhook this into this one, into the green, and then hook this into the red. So if we press one, Oh yeah, and also we might not, we might want to pre hook this into all the this one into all of them. So we press one, and then we can um press two. Hang on, we're gonna ha oh yeah, if we didn't turn the um engines up, that's probably gonna help to move. Alright, let's press one, and we can press two, and see we're moving forwards. And then we can press um four, and then we'll head backwards. Yeah, and that's only using the um the low gear. And then, so if you to make the um, high gear, we're gonna have to get another logic gate here. I'm kind of like it's kind of squished up against that one, so I'll, I'll put it like here. Let's just color code this so it's not as confusing. So I reckon high gear, and then reverse. So is like black, I guess. Well, <laughs> sure, why not? All right. Um, so this we want to put this as a nor gate as well, kind of similar to this. But of when the um the high gear is turned on, we want both of these to be activated. So what we can do is just hook this into these ones here, uh, and then we can hook these into these engines. Let's just turn this up. So if we press one, we'll move. But when we press three, it will activate all of them. And so now we're going a lot faster because all of the the wheels are spinning. And then same in reverse. So if you press two, I mean, let, hang on, let me just, just to showcase this better, I'll just turn these engines down. There you go. So if you press two, okay, maybe that was too, too far down. You press two, see we're not moving very fast, but you press um, three, and then we're moving very fast. Moving a lot faster now because all the wheels are spinning, and then we can also utilize this system to make um to make lights as well. So if we have um some headlights here, we can put some headlights on the front, and then some reverse lights as well, and we can put them on the um the back as well. And then we need and then we'll have them the red ones for reverse, and then we're going to need another switch. And that is for the lights. So we're gonna connect the switch, the, the light switch into both these logic gates. Then this reversing one into this one. And then we can just do that one into this one. And so when by default, it's gonna be 
these white ones are going to be on, and then these black, uh, red ones are going to be off, and then if we switch the reverser, see it's going to flip the direction, and then we can do this for the backwards as well, so we want the reverse lights to be on, and then we can have the rear lights to be off, like so, and then when we press 4, see it changes the direction, so this is going forwards, uh, press 1 of the engine, so we're going forwards now, and then we can press um, 4, what, oh I didn't, I didn't hook it up, I, oh yeah. we can press 4 and then we're going backwards, there we go, and now this is all well and good, but how do we make it so we can drive from 2, two cabs, well it's, it's pretty simple, okay so what you want to do, so you want to have basically the same, so it's basically, uh, so what you, so you want to, so what we, so what you want to, so what you want to do is you want to basically replace all these switches and the button with um, XOR gates. So you want this to be an XOR gate. And then we want it connected to this and then we want this to be an XOR gate because unfortunately you can't have uh, both these switches connected or both the linkages to the seats connected to the one button. So they have to, so it has to be connected to two separate buttons instead which is like kind of unfortunate but that's just what you're gonna have to deal with in scrap mechanic so um it does mean i'm gonna have to um rewire all of this as well so let me just and then we can cook this up make sure you got to do it the right direction and then this is the high gear so this is connected to this one and this one so we can just turn this into xor gate like so and then this is the reverser so that is connected to this one this one and those ones so we're going to connect this to this this and this and this and so you can see it's getting kind of very messy now with all like the logic gates all, all like the linkages are like very close to each other and this is for the lights and then that's just connected into these two logic gates here and then turn the XOR gate. There you go. And then we're gonna put some switches. Oh, not hang on. We want some switches. These are buttons. Then the rest can be all be switches. And then we just hook it up like so. And then we can hook this into our driving seat here. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then this one back here as well. So one, two, three four and five and now we should be able to drive before so we can have this is the low gear and then we have the high gear four is the reverse and then five is the lights but did i not connect it hang on let me let me redo this hang on okay there we go there we go so it's connected i must have not connected it or something and now we should be able to do it in the other side as well so can one that's to start the engine two is um the to go and then three is to high gear and four of course is to go the opposite direction because we're fate because the d direction of travel will be in this way it's going to be in reverse and then we have five and that's to um to turn lights on and what i usually like to do is um for like to know that you have the engine started for it to be more realistic i usually get like a gas engine petrol engine and then um we get a bearing here and I usually just put like a screw on it and I have this connected to that and because this makes like a lot more realistic sound like it like if you listen to that that's like a lot more realistic engine sound and then I can have it connected into like this XOR gate to here so as you can see we can't move because the engines are on and when once we press the switch it turns on the engine and also makes the engine spin the um the screw which makes the sound of like it, like a real uh, diesel engine was actually like on and there you go if you want i can even upload this on to the workshop if you want this monstrosity of creation to be on the workshop but i mean it does like demonstrate how you build trains so i guess it is useful but it's not very aesthetically pleasing there you go i hope you were able to follow along and i hope you found this tutorial useful if you're making your trains to mechanic and also let me know what other tutorials you want me to make as well. 
like i reckon in the future i might want to do a tutorial on how to make um like a valve gear for like my steam locomotive like this one here and of course i never put it on the track properly so let's just re-put that on the track there so there you go we want i might want to do a tutorial on how to do um like the the piston mechanism because this is an entirely like piston powered um steam locomotive this one and it's glitching out because yeah the first quality too low so anyways thanks for making it and the video be sure to like and subscribe and lastly be sure to join the journey with joe Tran.